Shalom everyone, I'm Kobe from Orphanland. You're watching and listening to Rhino Radio. <laughs> I have the honor of sitting with Kobe, aka Kobe, yeah. of Orphanland. So welcome back to the UK, welcome back to Bloodstock. Thank you. Not your first time in the UK, but no. you brought the Mabulu with you, so we're hiding inside. Yeah, I had to use yeah. that pun, sorry. Yeah, 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 it's fair. Uh, okay. I understand. We, <laughs> <laughs> we already started our conversation before we went over politics and culture, which is what most Israelis are about. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's what, it's what my band is about anyway, so... Yeah. So I was wondering, is it difficult to not talk about the Israeli culture when you just bump into a fan? It's almost impossible not to talk about it. I mean, no one asks me questions about the sounds of the guitars or why the kick drum is like that. It's always about... But look at our music and, 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 and lyrics. It's always about the macro situation of the Middle East and... and uh, it's okay. I'm, I'm not running away from answering uh, questions about politics, and, and I actually want to talk about it. Like you said, we're Israelis. This is what we talk about. Yeah. This and Bamba. <laughs> but putting Bamba aside, it's it's politics and stuff. If you could only talk to everyone about Bamba. I wish. Are you going to write a song about Bamba now? I think if the world would deal with Bamba, that will be the end of. Uh, there will no will be no need for Orphan Land anymore, which is a good news, if you ask me. Uh, we sing about tragedies. We sing about bad things. I'll be happy to kill the band if there will not be any need. Okay, for just that. to clarify, Bamba is a peanut butter puff sort of treat. So it's the best. <laughs> Very Israeli thing, and apparently the new theme yeah. for Orphan. We started the interview when he is apologizing. I wanted to bring you Bamba, but couldn't find any. Okay, and um, when fans or people that have never heard about you before come up to you and hear that you're from Israel, do they have more of an idea of what Israel is, or more questions? Everybody is having his own opinion, but it's always based on what he knows from the media, which is always half of the truth in, in the best way, best case. So there's always more to tell. There's always, I mean, once you're coming from a place, someone from the UK can always enlighten me more from anything that I know about the United Kingdom. That's the way it is about Israel. People hear about it from the media or from people who have different opinions, but you need to be in a place to understand what's going on. And people that know a little bit about you, they know a little bit about the band, know that you're a theme and you guys are criticizing politics in general, but also Israel, yet you guys still live in the same place that you like criticizing so much. You know, the craziest thing is that we criticize all governments. We criticize the Palestinian governments, we criticize the Israeli governments. And because of the brainwash, everybody tends to put us on the wrong side. So for right-wing people, we're leftists. For, for leftists, we're right-wings. Uh, for Arabs, we're Zionists. It's, it's like you cannot run away from it. But on the other hand, there are a huge amount of people who really understand that we, don't, we do not belong to any of the sides. We're musicians. Music is universal. We're here to tell the story, not in the manner of you're right, you're wrong. We believe that everybody's wrong. That's, that's the starting point. Everybody's wrong. And, and I always need to explain that again and again and again. Maybe that's the part that I hate the most uh, in my profession and, and dealing with this subject. But I don't have any other choice. I need to do it again and again because my strength compared to the media's power, it's nothing. And finding a silver lining in all this mess, many years ago, I think about 10 years ago, you were on the cover of an Irani magazine. And on top of that, yeah. you're going also to on Turkey a, again? Also on a Syrian, yeah. Syrian magazine, Iranian magazine. So an Israeli band is supposed to be everyone's enemy or everybody doesn't like Israel, yet you're on just music covers and you're being invited to supposedly... But, this is, but, this is, but you see, this is also the, the Israeli brainwash because we think, how the hell an Israeli band can be on an Arab magazine? But there you see, a nation is... is full of a lot of people and, and a, a huge amount of those people are actually don't have anything against you it's just news it's just media and uh, yeah we're going to be in Turkey in November uh, Turkey is a Muslim country they always accepted us very well lots of fans from the Arab world are coming to see our shows in Turkey so 
we do succeed to do a small revolution with our music and, and that's something that keeps me keeps my hope alive keeps me on doing what we do because I do see a sparkle of light I do see a movement of people that are open minded that are growing above any brainwash and stereotype and, and that's that, that gives me hope and to them as well and with all that criticism about the world in general are you thinking about having kids in this world? It's a very tough question. I'm 43 years old, still without kids. And, uh, but if I'm a man of hope, I, I have to do that. I think it's still better to be born than not being born at all. I mean, if you look at Jewish history, coming from persecutions, coming from the Holocaust, something can come out of it. You can overcome, you can survive, you can still be alive. And I, I think it's worth trying to do that. Even when I look about Germans and Israelis today, according to history, look at them today, smoking hashish together, making love, that's, that's a big hope. That's a big uh, uh, reality in front of your eyes, showing you that you can overcome. So I believe that we can one day overcome and, and uh, create a better world for the children. And yeah, I want to have children. It's very hard. I still didn't do it because of what you asked. Okay. But, but it wasn't an invitation, by the way. I mean, you can do it by yourself. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do it at one point, yeah. And and uh, I hope I will be able to create a better world for them, or at least they will know that I really tried very hard. Okay, so continuing that thought, um, you took it upon yourselves as a band to change, to open minds, to influence, educate. Do you think it's artists or musicians' role in general, or just do whatever? I think art is is the free uh, spectrum to do whatever you want. Uh, but I also think that art is one of the greatest platforms to protest. Um, I think that, that a nation, it, there is a saying, if you want to understand a nation, go and talk to the poets, uh, read the songs. So there is something about people of spirit and, 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 and people of art that, that are important in, in, in a manner of, of, of our reality. And uh, yeah, I, I think I, I always criticize Roger Waters for his attempt to uh, boycott Israel because not because I think that Israel is a saint or because our governments are holy people I just don't think that boycott is the way I mean you're Roger Waters why don't you write a song about it why don't you make a concept album about it why are you so one-sided there are bad things in Israel but there are also great things in Israel and they are the greatest in the Middle East if you compare them to the other countries for example, if you're a gay or lesbian in the Middle East, the most safe place for you will be Israel. If you're an Arab homosexual, Israel is your shelter. I mean, I've been reading the news, Israel is still difficult for straight yeah, people still, as well. Yeah, still very conservative, yeah. still very conservative, and still wrong things yeah. are happening still, to there's homosexuals. There's an invitation for a conversation with Roger Waters as well, but everyone just to see and talk about yeah. the people and not about the government. Yeah. So if yeah. you want to reach out to Water Waters, okay. come and have a conversation, some bamba with us. Yeah, I, I would be happy to sit with Roger Waters. I will let him speak. I'll say my own things. And there are many bad things, not only in Israel. I mean, I feel that he's a little bit obsessed. I admit, shitty, horrible things are happening in Israel, but not only in Israel. That's my point. My point is not leave Israel alone. My point is just next door. If an Arab woman is raped, in many cases she's forced to marry her rapist. Do you know that? I'm not saying that I should accuse all Arabs for that. Some Arabs are great people. I have a lot of Arab friends. But there are bad things in any place, in every country. And if you want to say something, boycott will only make a huge separation. Write a song about it. Put Israelis and Palestinians to sing together. Show that they can coexist. That's a better way to do it. We do it with the band. And, and look at it. We have a huge Arab fan base. What would I do if I would boycott Iran for the regime or for their violation of human rights? If I would boycott Saudi or Jordan or Egypt? I would end up being with zero fans from that area. Who cares about my boycott? That's my point. Okay, so I'm just going to wrap up on the uh, story of Plato's Cave. Yeah. So talking about ignorance is bliss. 
Um, obviously, you chose the other way. But on the other hand, sometimes the messenger gets hit. So is it a price that you would suggest others to take upon themselves as well? <laughs> you didn't want an easy interview. No, no. I, I think that there is no other way uh, to try and change the system. Unfortunately, it, it, if you take that path, that means that you might have been risking your life and that you might end up dead. Look at Mahatma Gandhi, look at Martin Luther King, look at Jesus Christ, look at Che Guevara, look at uh, Rabin, Sadat, or Socrates. They were all killed because they were revolutionaries. I'm not saying if they were good or bad people, they were revolutionaries and they got killed for that. I want to believe that there must be a way for us to understand how to beat that, because otherwise I will not leave my bedroom. I will just stay all day at my at my living room and, and, and I don't know, become old. I, ha I must have hope that we can do something, or even if we're losing, let's try while losing. So on that hopeful note, is there anything else you want to add to fans and listeners out there? Check our album, read our lyrics, um, and I think it speaks for itself, and I hope you like it. Okay, Kobe of Orphanland, thank you very much. My pleasure. Okay.